Come on, read. The Lord hated all abominations. The Lord hate abomination. When he say he hate abomination, he hate women wearing pants. Go back to Deuteronomy 2025. Hold that. Because we want to show y'all what abomination is. But we peace. She the one called us up there. That sister said, come on up. Now y'all wanna, now y'all wanna act like men. not your enemies. What we come out here to do to teach our people who they are according to the Bible is 18 nations in the Bible. Is that sister in there teaching you which one of the nations you come from? Or yeah. she's saying Christ is the spirit and it don't matter. Well, if she's saying that, she's teaching you a doggone lie and she's causing you to err and you won't get the kingdom of heaven. Right. Now, because I'm telling you the truth, I'm your enemy. Read what you got. Galatians 4 verse 16. Am I therefore become your enemy? Because I tell you the truth. We're telling you the truth. We, we're telling y'all that y'all the children of Israel. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Because we can prove who we are according to the Bible. You never learned this. So for some reason, you don't want to teach the truth about the Bible. Christ is the black man and he come from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Y'all need to be teaching these kids that. Because all the images they got is Cardi B. Right. That's the Megan Thee Stallion. Trap boys. These young boys that made out here carrying Dracos. You don't think that young man got no nine millimeter? And he ain't got it for the white man, he got it for himself, for his brother, to kill his brother. Cause y'all ain't teaching to keep the laws of God in the Bible, cause y'all don't know y'all the Israelites. Right. So we out here to bring y'all the truth, and y'all call us the enemies. Read what you got. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. And if that young man had a pistol on him, he would've shot one of us. And he would've been in jail and we would've been dead. Cause y'all ain't teaching him thou should not kill. And y'all ain't going to the communities on the block teaching them not to sell dope. Not to kill each other. So we got to come out here and do it. Right. Because y'all ain't men. Y'all some. Y'all ain't men. Y'all ain't men of the Lord. Read what you got. Deuteronomy 28, 15. Y'all ain't got Christ in y'all. Y'all ain't got the spirit. Because if you had the spirit, you'll come up here and talk to your brother. I got love for you. I got the Bible open. Where's your Bible? Y'all don't even have the Bible. The young sisters don't be have, have to have, supposed to have shorts on. The Bible says she's supposed to have a dress. Come on, man. Read the Bible. Come on, man. Y'all up in there. What y'all doing in there? What y'all? Y'all not learning anything. Read. But it shall come to pass. God said it's going to come to pass. Listen up. If they will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Hey, young man with the finger waves. If that older gentleman don't want to teach you, brother, that's why we out here. Because if we don't teach you, brother, those hustlers and dope dealers going to teach you. And you're going to end up in prison. Because you're going to them churches and they ain't teaching you nothing. Hey, sis. The Bible says sister's supposed to wear dresses. Y'all understand that. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. We got love for y'all. But what we got, what y'all got to know is that the women don't post to teach in the church. Right. Give me that in 2 Timothy 2 and 11. Drop that. Hey, right. sister, also, don't knock on that door so hard. Get this word real quick. We came out here. Hey, mama. Ma, AT. You never seen young men out here this age with the Bible? Listen to what we're trying to tell y'all. What y'all grow up with was right supremacy. Y'all never learned the Bible the proper way. Give me what you got. First Timothy 2 verse 11. Bring it out. Let the woman learn in silence. So, so that teacher in there, she ain't teaching you right because y'all supposed to be sitting down listening to the man teach. Right. Y'all supposed to be in silence so y'all can get the word of God the proper way. Right. Mama, don't knock on that door so hard. I'm out here for you. Read. With all subjection. And you supposed to be putting anything that goes against Christ to Objection. So if that brother walking around here with no fringes on, or if that little sister walking around with shorts on, or that brother in the church with his head covered, you got to put that in subjection. Right. Give me 1 Corinthians 13. 13 and 34. Hey, bro, with the New Yorker. You seem like you got, got a little sense. I'm your brother. Come dialogue with me. Let's get the real reason why we out here. Why are you scared to be a man? If, if, if we had a, if we if we had if we had some if we had some squares or some liquor over here sitting up under a tree, hold up, hold, hold up, wait. Come here for a second. Well, well, well. If you want to deal with the, show what the man is. Go to first. I'm gonna show you why I said. That. Listen to the Bible. Give me, give me first Kings two and two. I'm gonna show you why I said you ain't dealing like a man. But you can run if you want to. 
the evil flee when, when, when no man pursue it. All right. Read. Hey, we out here trying to, matter of fact, read what you got real quick. First Kings 2, verse 2. I go the way of all the earth. Uh-huh. Be strong, therefore. And show thyself a man. Sisters, if y'all got men in them churches, tell them to go get their Bible so we can deal. Because the Bible says if you're a man, you will know how to deal in the scriptures. And what else does it say? And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. We out here trying to keep the charge. We love y'all. That's why we're trying to show y'all the proper way of the Bible. We to walk in all his ways. And y'all ain't walking in the ways of the Lord, sisters. Y'all ain't got on them dresses. I know y'all hate that. Don't run. But that's what the scriptures say. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Let me give them some laws before they run. Here's the laws of God. And no, ma'am, sister, auntie, mama, the laws ain't done away with. Somebody calls y'all the error. We all try to get to the kingdom of heaven. And the only way is to keep God's laws and the faith of Christ. Right. But a man has to teach you that. Because the woman can't leave the church. She's supposed to leave the children. Right. She's supposed to teach the kids. That big brother right here. Tell him to go get his Bible. Read Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. Listen to this with all love. Listen the, to this with all love. Read. The woman shall... Hey, sis, why you waving? Ain't you a woman? Read. Come on. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Keep listening. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So if a man is putting on a dress, God don't like that. And God don't like a woman putting on no britches. Right. This, this is what he say about it. Read. For all that do so. So for the little kids that's even doing it. Read. Are abomination. Nation. God said you're an abomination according to the Bible. Come on up here and speak to us, sis. You ain't got to yell to me. Give me some rock 15 and 3. Come on and speak to me. I'm your brother. Come speak to me. When he said he hate abomination, he hate women wearing pants. Go back to Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Hold that. Because we want to show y'all what abomination is. Bro, we peace. She the one called us up there. That sister said, come on up. Now y'all want to Now y'all wanna act like men. Now y'all want to act like men. But the sister, the one said, come up. Read. Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Hey, sisters, I want y'all to listen up. A woman should not wear that which pertaineth to a man. Hey, sis, with the green blouse on, this is for you. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. It's the Bible. It's not my words. So a man should wear a dress. That's why you got those sissies out here. That's why you got the choir boys in there chewing bubble gum, slapping a tambourine. Because y'all don't want to listen to the Bible. Now the Bible gonna come out. Read for all that do so. So for any one of y'all that do that, and your pastor ain't teaching you, read our abomination unto the Lord thy God. Go back to that scripture when it said God hate abomination. So Luke 15 verse 13. Y'all don't want to hear the laws of God. Proverbs 25 and 9. Go ahead, sister. Yes, yes, sir. We're not gonna be. We're not gonna be too quiet. But go ahead. But go ahead. Well, go ahead, sister. Go ahead. Go ahead, sister. Speak, speak your piece. Come on, sister. Speak your piece. We're not going to be quiet for too long. We, we just want we, we to hear you. No, we're not hot. We hot in the word of God. Read that scripture. Proverbs 25, verse 9. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor the Bible, himself. The Bible says you got to debate your cause with your neighbor. You got you to gotta debate your cause with your neighbor. That's what the Bible says. But the Bible says to do that. You're not going to do what the Bible says? Why not? Why are you not going to do what the Bible says, sir? We out here with Bibles trying to deal. We've been waiting. we waited for you to say something. Yeah, we waited for you to say something. You see that? They try to they try to hush the word of God. Give me that uh, Isaiah 20, uh, 40, 58 and 1. <laughs> Give me Isaiah 58 and 1. What we are, what we out here to do is show our people their transgressions. Watch this. Read Isaiah 58. She came out here hushes and didn't tell us nothing. We wait for her to tell us something. Tell us something. We waiting. Okay, but well, I can't hear. We can't hear. Her. She's way over there. I kind of come over there and talk. They told me get off the property. What what, what do y'all want? We, we, we waiting to hear. We waiting to hear. We waiting, to, brother. We ain't told nobody to shut up out here. Now you being disrespectful. So when we turn back up on you, you are gonna get emotional. Don't do that. Do not do that. You not you not ready to match that. You let it. So he told us shut up. That's cool. Okay. All right. Just making sure. Read that. Isaiah 58 verse one. We ain't shutting up. Cry aloud. The Bible says cry loud. Spare not. Spare not. We're not sparing old men, young men, weaves, bald heads. We ain't sparing nothing. Read. 
Lift up that voice like a trumpet. And do what? And show my people their transgression. And we're going to show where y'all transgressing against God. You're How right. come the fourth commandment say, remember the Sabbath day? Today is not the Sabbath day. Yeah. Why y'all neglect God's Sabbath to come to church on Sunday? Right. That's one question. That's one question. Why y'all collect tithes in the in there when the Bible says tithes was never money? Bring it out. Tithes was foods and crops and, and flocks of herds. How come y'all collected 10% of these poor folks' money? Right. All you beautiful sisters in the church giving up y'all money, it's a shame. And this dude, this dude in this big old button-up shirt, he probably on the payroll. He might be on the payroll. He might just be on the payroll. And that's a shame. That's a shame. Read on. And the house of Jacob, their sins. And the house of Jacob, their sins. We're going to show you a house of Jacob, your sins. We're going to show you a house of Jacob, your sins. Because y'all going to be singing until the nukes drop. Right. Y'all going to be singing until Christ come back and destroy this place. That's a, that's a shame. That's a shame. Give me that. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. What, what you call? What's going on? Yeah, for, matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact, go to Amos. Give me Amos. Amos, uh, Amos 527. Yeah, give me Amos 527. Read that strong, too. Amos. Yeah, because they want to sing songs and rub bald heads and throw middle fingers, but they don't want to come out here and deal with the Word of God. Nobody came out with a Bible yet. Read. Amos 5, verse 23. Bring it out. Take thou away from me the noise of thy song. God don't want to hear that garbage. God wants you to keep his commandments. Read that again. Take thou away from me the noise of thy song. Take away the noise of thy song. You ain't in Zion. You ain't captivity, Negro. God said, take away the noise of thy song. Read. But I will not hear. God ain't hearing that. The, God ain't hearing sinners. Read. The melody of thy vows. Hey. Right, read. Come on. But let judgment run down as waters. And if y'all don't come out them sins, judgment's going to rain down. Give me John 9 and 31. Because God ain't hearing you sinners. God ain't hearing the noise of your songs. Y'all ain't keeping the commandments. That's why we out here. That's why God sent us out here. We, John 9 verse 31. Uh -huh. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. We know that, but they don't know that. Read that again. Well, we know. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. He ain't hearing them songs, y'all. Y'all prayers ain't getting above y'all head. That's why we catching so much hell. That's why we out here. That's why we try to reason for y'all with y'all so y'all can change. Read. But if any man be a hey, worshiper of God, God, if any man and woman, read, and doeth his will, doing their own will, his will, doing his will, meaning that they in church on a Sunday when it's Sabbath day and Saturday. Right. That's their own will, bro. That's your own will. Bring it up. Read. Him he heareth. God hear the ones that's keeping his commandments. That's, that's right. right. That's what it's all about. The commandments is not done away with. Right? Give me Christ himself. You got something, you bring something out. You got something you want to go to? Bring it out. Bring it out. Because I'm here for my people. Hey, sis, reason why we out here, mother, listen, you ought to listen to young men with the Bible. Y'all ignoring us. What if we were selling dope, breaking to your houses? Well, what about then? What about we trying to show y'all the right way of the Bible? Why won't y'all listen? Because y'all got the devil on y'all. Right. Read. Sirach 32, verse 24. Bring it out. He that believeth in the Lord. He that believeth in the Lord. Taketh heed to the commandment. You'll keep the commandments. That the, you'll keep the Sabbath day when it's on a Saturday. Right. Read. And he that trusteth in him shall fare never the worse. And you'll never fare the worse. You'll, give me Psalms 37 and 25. Because the reason why come our people are so broke in our community because we're not keeping God's commandments. Right. And you're not righteous in them churches. You're not keeping the commandments, but you swear you're righteous. You swear you're righteous. You out there singing the songs and all that old crap. Bring it out. God said, take away the noise of our song. Right. Read what David said. Psalm 37, verse 25. Uh-huh. I have been young and now am old. I've been young and I've been old. Read. Yet have I seen the righteous Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken. If you keep it up commandments, our community would not be forsaken. And what else? Nor his seed begging bread. And we won't be begging bread. 
we won't be begging bread. But matter of fact, drop that. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and 15. I'm going to bring out Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Hey, bro, pull on up. Just read. Just read. read what you got. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Verse 68, then Matthew 26. Hurry up, get it quick. Verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The word Egypt means captivity, read. With ships. And we came over here on cargo slave ships because we went against God. We broke his commandments, read. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. And we were sold to our enemies, read. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And bond women. And no man shall buy you. And nobody redeemed us. That's how we know. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.